Aye. Saffron, right? Aye. I don't know if you remember, we went on a coffee date. Oh, uh, I do remember. Uh, howdy, it wasn't really a date, though. I mean, the, the semantics. Had a drink together, I. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to take you on another one, this time, you know, with alcohol. Uh, sorry, I, I don't really drink, and also I'm actually going out with someone, so. Oh. Sorry. Okay, then. Double rejected, then. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Oh, come on, Samurai. How are you going to break his heart like that? I'm sorry. I'm already going out with someone. Who? Boyd. Never heard of him. Billy Blaster's here is a legend. I, okay, Billy Blaster's. I've heard. Coffee. Billy Blaster's. I'm a deputy. I can't even go dating Billy Blaster's. Okay. <laughs> All right, flex up. Okay, that looks like it hurts. I want yeah, you to be it's honest. Be sore. It's of course it sort of got short. Right. But I know. if I'm if I'm in a situation and a learn long arm it'd be more beneficial. It should be fine to use it, shouldn't it? I would only use it if it is a last resort. Do you think you can do that one? I my I'll just I wouldn't carry it until I think I might be in a situation. Okay. That, all right. That okay? Yeah, that's fair. Because at that point, you're protecting your own life. All right. Like, okay, could I get, could I get some more of that cocaine cream to spread it around it? But... Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, I'll I'll get you a tin. I think I trust you enough to not overuse it. All right. Thank you. Look, Saf goes crazy by do not doing anything, so being put out for an injury is, is rough. This is usually enough for about a, f a week of uh, regular use. Okay. Alright. And this way, you know, you'll have a little bit for next time. Um, it does tend to dry out after a little while, so it might dry out if you don't get injured again for a couple of weeks, but... Okay, well, let's hope that I... I mean, you know, I, right. I think it's been a few weeks. Uh... It's been a while since I last got injured, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, you've been you've been doing real well. You look good, by the way. Oh, thank like you. the outfit. This is my uh my cash outfit. I know, I was about to say <laughs> you look you you seem like you took it's a page my, out of Cash's book. My Blackwater book. Deputy outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's a classic and that's what matters. Oh, thank you, Lark. Yeah, no worries. Drugs and Saf that never ends well. No, she's not gonna get it's it's a it's topical scream. It's a bleh, scream. Do you know if there's anywhere I'm expected to be needed? Uh I dunno can I could go look at stuff. I haven't heard anything. It seems pretty quiet at the moment actually. Okay. Um well I'm gonna go check Valentine and make sure that everything over there actually I might sit in Valentine since I'm the only one on duty, since that mm. tends to be where chaos tends to happen first. Um, Aye, it sure does. Okay, alright, thank you. Now she could have some struggles if she gets given laudanum for something, because that's... What is la laudanum again? Laudanum is a uh, cocaine... Isn't it? Thanks, Beast and Zombie. Oh, also, thank you for the sub. I'm sorry I, I didn't uh, acknowledge that moment. I appreciate it. Opium. It's, a, it's opium, right? She has to avoid what she can give herself. Uh, what's over that? I still remember drug. 
Alcoholic solution containing morphine prepared from opium formerly used as a narcotic painkiller. Yeah. Like, she's been given morphine by the doctors, but they regulate it, right? It's not just giving her um, laudanum, which was bad. I'd say if, if we get into a really bad situation, Saffron gets really shot up and it really means a lot to the story, sure, she could start having, you know, an issue. Howdy. Alright, I thought it was you who rolled past. Oh, you've been watching me. Well, I'm, in, I'm watching the bank right now. There's a bunch of shady p characters in town and uh, oh, I don't right, trust right, them not yeah. to do something. Kettleman's crew, huh? Oh, <laughs> you know who it is I'm keeping an eye on. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen him. Mm-hmm. I can get it on him. Uh, get this. What? I put my application in, right? Uh huh. I told Eliza. I said, listen, I, I'm applying to be law, but don't tell no one. I don't skip between me and you. Everyone fucking knows. Ah. Uh, she told everyone. I know what I've mentioned it to a few people, but mainly law, so. Sorry, I didn't realize you wanted that to be private. Uh. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Okay. I mean, well, law's, I just, get, law's you know. gonna know, right? They're gonna know. No. Oh. Looks like we have a sheriff in senior deputy. Oh, that Lewis. Oh, uh, fuck. Lewis. Uh, I, thought, I thought you made up. I thought I did too, but she fucking brought it up last time I seen her. I'll smooth over right now. Hey! <laughs> hey, Lewis, how you doing? How are you? I'm good. You want to get... Can I get you something? A cigarette, a drink? Saffron, is wet he towel? making a... Uh... Um, why would I need a wet towel? Huh? I don't know. Is he making advances on you? Rub your face? I don't fucking know. What do people do with wet towels? Uh, what do you mean right? by that? I just woke up, so I think I'm okay right what now. What do I mean by that? I mean, all he's right. fluid with oh, every single female it. I've ever seen him interact you with. You let Boyd know, right? I'm righty. All right, we'll do. Um, uh -huh. how have you been? Uh, I've been good. I've been oh, very has he good. Been saying you're the special one. You know? Why are you saying been... it like that? Saying like what? Like what? I'm not you saying it weird. That's Listen, I won't pretend you know, to know the deep inner Just trying to make a good fella. impression. Uh, make sure that say, you, you know that I've... I'm very guarded. Been good. Right. right. Is anyone okay. else in town? Aye, the entire Kettleman gang. They're over there no, creeping about. I know. I, I, know. I meant you. us, because as far as I'm aware, the Kettleman gang were involved in stabbing. Yeah, they were right, scout last night. I thought that the whole incident... No, I'm the, yeah, I'm the only one who's in town. I didn't kind of wear back with Winter. I was, I was under the impression. Right. His horse is right there, but I, I haven't seen him, so... Well, I've just been keeping an eye on such things. thing as um, okay. not forgetting things like that. And fielding... That's something hard to forget, boy. I get it. I get it. But you know, I've done a lot of good since then. And, you know, I was in my right frame of mind, you know? Mm -hmm. we, shared a, we shared a moment, you know? We shared a moment. Right. And, um... He's still in town. I just oh, think good. that, you, come you know... Weather, well, did you come alone? I, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's something we could definitely work towards, of course, but, uh... It, it doesn't happen overnight, and, uh... Like I said, it's, uh... I've explained to you that what I did was very traumatic to me, and it's not something I wanted to do, and it's not something that... I understand. I understand. What I did was a really bad thing. I understand it's not something that I'd usually partake in and I feel horrible about the whole thing regardless of mm -hmm. I was my plans of, uh, here I mean it's up. something I am not proud of and mm -hmm. I'm always you know trying to put my best foot forward I think you're a lovely lady uh, by all accounts a great sheriff and uh, you didn't deserve nothing like that to happen to you and um yeah I just you know I just don't want to uh make you feel like 
that's something that is like sorry to know. interrupt oh, Boyd. Yeah. Uh, sheriff we have a full says considering that Vic is somewhere in town this should be enough to uh, approach these folks for a conversation right yeah. okay well um like I said Boyd we will see where it goes and um just keep doing good is really all I can ask yeah yeah well that's that's, that's a given <laughs> All right. Well, it seems like I have work to go attend to now, so. All right. Well, have a lovely day. It was nice seeing you. Of course. Have a fantastic day and uh, stay out of trouble. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. What? Huh? Danny starts walking out in the back, and he puts his hands up. So I burst around the corner, you know, SCSD, put your hands up, yada, yada, yada. Uh, they then tell me that it's a joke. And that they had to get her out of there. Me, I'm telling him, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Uh, both of you put your hands up. I cuff them both. Take them down the station, right? They then tell me that the <laughs> reason <laughs> they, uh, they did so was oh. because he's currently in danger. Cameron, I'm going to shoot your horse. That's that's my Whose horse. horse is that? That's my horse. I'm I get sorry. Hit by one goddamn horse, I swear to God, they fucking turned into glue. He will not be turning my horse into glue. <laughs> sorry, Saffron. That's alright. Um, and Saffron, what I told you, will you? Yeah. Uh, okay. You hey, get closer. Hey. Have a good night. I, I wasn't trying to be insensitive, nor was I trying to pry. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a heads up. No, it's fine. I appreciate it. Uh, it's all stuff that's been discussed, so... Okay. All right. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Stay safe, you two. Take care. Kai was warning her that he's seen Boyd flirting with a bunch of women. He, he came up like, he's not flirting with you, is he, and stuff? Because we were standing on the porch together. Kai kind of low-key flirted with Saffron before, but he hasn't for a long time. Uh, so maybe... <laughs> Everything okay? What are you creeping about? <laughs> I'm just, you know, doing rounds around town. Doing round is like all the laws over there, mm -hmm. and you're you're creeping well, around some over of the, here. <laughs> some of the they they were about to go up to Valentine, so I was just walking around finding something to do. Like someone said that they found crates of moonshine stashed around town, so I was just taking a look. Oh, the investigation worker. Huh? They sort of, you know, just. Walking around, taking a look. Fair enough. Uh, well, I've been I've been uh, working on this termite situation. I got to present it to the sheriff, and maybe he could hear and tell me if it's any good or not. A, a presentation. Yeah, it's not a long one because okay. there's a termite infestation over in Valentine. Oh, and the yeah. sheriff Munro, he hired me for three hundred dollars to do some research to give him a presentation on the subject. So I've got it all written down. All right, um, if you want to, sure. All right. Want to go over? Where? Where do you want to go over for it? Oh, we can go to your place. Sure, I'm on duty, so maybe maybe over here in the park. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it works. That way, it's just a. I've got a. Yeah, way yeah stay bit in public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, if someone gets shot, you'll be there three seconds faster. Okay, sure. <laughs> I can have a better eye on stuff like they haven't left for Valentine yet. Right, or right. okay. okay. Yeah, I did it, can I too? Okay. Alright. Never look here. Where's me book? Here we are. Alright. <laughs> oh, wrong book. Fuck. Oh no. Alright, got it. 
All right. Termite Presentation by Boyd Kerrigan. <clears throat> are you ready? Uh-huh. Termites are bad. <laughs> because termites eat wood. Did you know that 85.7% of builders in the crossing are made of wood? Something needs to be done. <laughs> After doing some research, it has come to my attention that termites have a unique ability to evolve at a rapid rate. Meaning, if we do not exterminate these pests, there is a potential of stone and steel eating mites down the line. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, they evolve. Huh. Yep. Termites <laughs> yep. also have the unique ability to use their bodies to create objects to help them achieve their goals. Such as creating bridges and ladders and such. They're also experts at navigating over water with naval-like efficiency. And Wait. have the potential... What? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have the potential to take part in amphibious warfare. Wait, what... What books are doing amphibious word? What Chapter do... 2. Effective Battle Strategies by Boyd Kerrigan. 1. They have a weakness to spinach. <laughs> 2. A steamroller could be effective, however, there's evidence of inconsistent results. You 3. Tried. Digging a moat around Valentine could also be an effective strategy. Not if they're However, good at amphibious warfare. However, <laughs> as stated earlier, they have the ability to navigate water. Therefore, watchtowers would have to be built. Four. You could buy some time by replacing all structures with metal. But this would only delay the inevitable, as stated before, termites can indeed evolve. <laughs> My strategy. <laughs> With all that said, I have decided on my approach to the problem. We will smoke them out. And we'll bring the termites to light. Once all the termites have perished in the smoke, only the king and queen will remain. Once that is the case, I will personally hunt them down with my guns and knives. Yeah. Wouldn't a boot do just as well, though? A what? A, a boot, you know, because they're, they're wee insects, eh? I don't think you've seen a king and queen termite, oh, sweetheart. I mean, no. Uh, yeah, they don't... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 Wait, yeah, how, yeah. How big do they get? Warning! All those with wooden arms and legs should pro be prohibited from entering Valentine until the termites are dealt with. The end. Well, that's a bit bad news for uh, some people then, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to also write wooden teeth, but I don't want to discriminate. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, are you sure all those facts are accurate? I mean, I don't know that much about termites, but... Well, well, who who put three hundred dollars worth of research into this, sweetheart? Me or you? Well, I certainly didn't pay three hundred dollars worth of research. That's right. That's right. <sighs> I did the research. I went to the the uh, the library in uh, Saint Denis. And I read all the books I needed to read, mm -hmm. and learned a thing or two. Okay. Well, uh, I suppose I have to trust your judgment on it. <laughs> You're absolutely fucking lonely. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll have you know, by the way. Mm. I had a little run-in with a lady yesterday, or last night. She had fallen off the roof, and I carried her to the tents, and I helped her up, right? She had sprained uh -huh. her ankle. And she started flirting with me, and I did not reciprocate. Just so you know. I was a gentleman, and I told her to be off. That's... That's reassuring to hear, Boyd. Um... No, that is... Yep. I mean, that's a good, that's a good thing. I... 
Yep. That's that's how I'm handling it from now on. As soon as they start saying stuff like, hey, I like your chin, I'll be like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. I'm not into it. Um, I was asked out for a Just like coffee that. date today and I said, no, I'm What the f- who? <laughs> Hang on. I said, no, I'm seeing someone. And it was some punk, some punk who asked me out for a coffee a few weeks ago. So I went ahead. But you see, you're seeing someone. Why? Oh. I mean, if if we're good, if we're talking about, <laughs> I, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. But I wouldn't be, you know, if we're. T yeah, but we're, you, we're... you, 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 I, uh, uh, I didn't know you saw me that way. Well, I mean, I thought we just talked. Well, well, I knew. Well, I know you saw me that way, but I, I, I didn't know that it was like an, like I didn't know. I, I didn't want to like assume that you know that we were like an like an official thing. But well, I mean, I'm, um, I'm not necessarily seeing it. Like, you, I just see you, you told the guy that you, you you're seeing someone. Um, does that the does that mean I can I can say that now instead of telling ladies to fuck off? I can tell them I'm seeing someone. I mean, I, I, I don't kind of way you, you wouldn't be able to see that. I mean, if you, if you're wanting to see me and I, well, I, I am. I just didn't want to that... presume. I know I didn't want to force that upon you. I didn't want to be like, hey, you know, I, I, I didn't want to pressure you. You know. I'm sorry. Did I do it wrong? Because I didn't ask you. No, no, that... no. This is no, no. <laughs> no, this makes me happy. Uh, who was, who was, who was the punk? Is it really important that I tell you who it was? It was some punk kid, all right? He's a criminal too, and I told him that I couldn't date him anyways, even if I wanted to, which which I don't. <laughs> Billy Blasters. Um, That's. Are you okay? <laughs> some fellow actually named himself Billy Blasters. I I didn't know that, that was his name until. Oh Just fuck! Like... <laughs> oh, that's not a real test of that's not a real test. Of fucking, I, I, even if you weren't seeing me, you wouldn't be seeing that guy. Even if he wasn't a criminal, his name's Billy Fucking Blasters. <laughs> no, would... Imagine that. Who are you dating? I'm would... dating Billy Blasters. Would... You know how bad of a look that would be. <laughs> Why do they call him Billy Blasters, Seth? I don't know. That's what his name is in the paperwork. Though I've seen it a few times. Oh boy. I think that's just actually his name. So his last name's Blasters. I, I'm assuming so. I've I've not really looked into it too much. Alright, well. Well I think I think when I had coffee with him several weeks ago I just uh Wait what? It was several weeks ago I had coffee with him because he asked me for I was injured and he was polite, he asked me if I wanted a drink and I said that I would you know, sure, fine, you could get me coffee because he was persistent. So I stood in the Valentine Saloon for, with him for about five minutes, had a coffee, and then I left. Oh, right, I right, think, right. Uh, I think this fellow Clay Davis is putting him up to it. I see, I see. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, um... So you're like, uh... <clears throat> you're, um... You're my, uh... You know... I, we, and I, and I'm like your, you know, you, you know the, the thing. The thing. Well, you're like, um, you're, we, you're my girlfriend. I, I mean, I suppose if we're both talking about seeing each other and getting to know one another, I, I, I guess. Is that how? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I um. Well, I, I tell you this. I mean, I'd say we're we're definitely seeing each other to to a degree. Eh? I I just don't know how those terms work. For being completely honest. I think it. I think it officially starts when uh. When when you uh you know you 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 kiss. For the f first time. Um, 
don't think we um, need to be, you know, jumping into. Oh, of course, no, no, I wasn't <laughs> suggesting. I wasn't suggesting. I mean, yeah, it's essentially the same thing. Is it? Yep. Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't insinuating that like, I was gonna like, like you know, uh you know like, like move in or anything like that i wouldn't you know i wouldn't put you in that kind of predicament you know i mean i wouldn't be doing that with anyone i uh, you know it's it's not how i was raised yeah of, so... of course yeah that's there yeah, for me too thank <laughs> god <laughs> i mean you, you can be honest i know that you've I had different upbringing and, and and different experience and your life than I have Boyd and, that, and that's okay I, I try to look past people's past you know yeah yeah I, I, yeah well you know I wasn't gonna like you know like uh I was just gonna give you like a little you know a little little you know on the on the on the lip there uh <laughs> wasn't gonna go any further than that but you know it's like I respect your upbringing Thank you. <laughs> you alright? Huh? I'm fine. No, well, I, you I, know, I, I, just, 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 you just, you know, when you, when, when the time is right, and you know you're ready, just give me the look, you know. The look. Yeah, the look. It's like, uh, you know, you, you, you know, uh, put your lips together and like, mm, like that. You do that, I'll know it's the signal. And I'll, I'll, you know. What was that sound I'm supposed to make? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you do that and I'll know. You do that and I'll know. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, you, something, to th something to think about. Something to think about. All right, I'll think about it, Blaine. Yeah, all right, uh... Well, I should probably go to Valentine and do this presentation of the termites. Oh, it's Monroe um, up there now. Well, I gotta check the telegrams. I would assume, sir. He's okay. been waiting for like three days. Oh boy. But okay. um, but you just just remember, whenever you 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 know you're comfortable. All right. Wait. All right. Good. All right. Well, I I'm just a telegram away, and you let me know if you need me, and I'll I'll drop everything and come right on over. Me in a jiffy. All right. I'll see you around. Oh, I'll probably. Uh... Can I? Can I? Kiss your cheek. Sure. Alright, I'll um I'll see you soon. Thanks. Thank you so much for the sub. Ew! Night voice, get out of here. We haven't gotten any more Eugene telegrams today. <sighs> See, look, now we have boy telegrams and not Eugene telegrams. Well, it's not like she's 
playing hard to get. I mean, she's just... Maybe she is hard to get. How about that? She said she's seeing him. Like, it would... It would seem wrong to be... You know... To be seeing him, but also seeing other people. You know? Or if she was doing that for some reason, she would want to let him know. Like, it would just be about respect. Plus, it's a great way to, uh... <clears throat> it's a great way to shrug people off if they're, you know, Oh, come on, get a drink with me, why not? Five people heard Saf say she was seeing him. The whole crossing already knows by now. It's kind of like they're courting each other. Not an official item completely, but have made both their intents to see where things go known. Yeah. How amazing was the presentation? It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Especially you guys saying that it was a Popeyes cartoon. I think I remember that cartoon. Uh, why didn't you fucking jump, man? Oh. oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> Aww. He just stands there staring. Oh, I like that horse too. I thought that was cool. Why didn't you fucking jump, man? The fuck? Seth needs to help him find a new horse. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna interested in what happens if Eugene finds out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm looking for a uh, Chubby Duff on it. John Duty? That's my stand. Deputy what on earth is he? Is John Duty? Um, what do I do? Right here. What do you want, boss? I'm definitely not in jail! Right what? now! And I would not I like to be I broken out. Right now, but I know that voice pretty well. What you want, boss? I know there's four or five of them out there. I'm gonna go around back. Okay. Go to you, dumbass. Wait, Saffron, did you forget already? Forget what, Sam? Excuse me? Sam! We forget what? Absolutely not. Over my dead body. What's going on right here? Oh. oh, hello there. Hey, Saffron. Howdy. What's going on, Sam? Is Boyd your boyfriend? What does that matter right now? It does matter. It's a matter of life and death. Right. Well, I'd like to ask you to kindly vacate town right now. You answer my oh question, my I'll leave. Oh my god, what do we do? I'm seeing Boyd. <laughs> I please leave time. Leave time. What the hell happened here? What the... Go fuck yourself, Boyd. The hell? What the hell we do? Hey, Calm down. Man, he, these police are something different. I did not expect that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was like yelling out, and I just told him, you know, you yeah, know, just. Okay. Just be be careful. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't see him like that. We're going bad news for you. Uh oh. Mr. Bass was not here to break out. He was here to hit on yet another woman. I know he ain't so here sorry. to break me out. If you didn't hear, I yelled loud and clear. We ain't want to be breaking out. I'm not trying to get right, but you break. said it like. like no, hey, Big Boss, last time we you... definitely don't want to get broken out. 
Meg Booker, last time I done said something, you mm -hmm. you told me you got me prison break. So I'm trying to make it very clear that I'm not cooperating with me yeah, of prison break right dance. now. Okay. <laughs> But if you just happen to get out, then you're like, well, I didn't want to, so you cannot charge me as that. Time. I mean, I ain't, I ain't asked for a different name with Booger Distance. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. Engineer handcuffs are here. McGregor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be such a mess, guys. <laughs> it's so much drama. It's so much drama. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>